This is my Airstream. It's 1962 Bambi. I just thought I'd uh, show you my method for polishing all of this corrosion that you see here off of it to make it nice and shiny. So I want to go from that to this. And here I'm going to pan over real quick to the dirty spots where there's a little bit of gunk and some Nuvite buildup. And finally, the white filiform corrosion that is everywhere. So here we go. First, I get this stuff called Nuvite. I'm using Grade F9. You can get it from Vintage Trailer Supply or PerfectPolish.com. Um, it doesn't matter who you get it from, but I recommend you get a pound of it or more. So you just grab some on your finger. They say use a little. I don't know what a little is, but I use this much, and I just kind of spread it on just kind of everywhere that I'm going to be polishing. To the right of this, you can see the polished, kind of polished surface, and I just spread it all over the corroded surface. So here we go. I'm using a polisher from Harbor Freight. It's like the Chicago model, the cheapest one they got. And I'm going to start off on what is the speed of 10, which is pretty slow. So I'm just going to use that to kind of spread the Nuvite stuff all over the surface that I'm working with. They say to do a 2x2 two two square, I tend to do more. And then I'm going to crank it up to about 26. And the reason I do that is because then I'm going to cut through the material with the edge of the bonnet. Now when you go to Harbor Freight, they sell a bigger bonnet. I can't remember what it's called, but you're going to want to get the big one because that's the only one that works. So if you can see here that the edge is actually cutting through the filiform pretty quickly. If you just use the, the flat front, it'll take forever. And keep in mind, this is going to take forever anyway. Mine's only 16 feet, and it's taking me a very long time. So this is just kind of a wide shot of what you'll see. Coming up, we're going to have a close-up so you can kind of see a little more of what's happening. Basically what I do is I, I cut through the gunk with the edge and then kind of put the polisher flat up against it because there's more polish on the flat part and kind of spread around and that'll give me a little more cutting material and then I can cut more with the edge and you see it happening here there's gonna be yep see how it's slowly getting shiny I don't know if this is the right way to do it but this is the way that works for me and it's not it but it takes hours so and it's pretty pretty heavy duty work so if you're not used to physical labor I do not suggest that you start because once you start, this is going to look funny if you don't finish. So I'll just let this go. You can check it out for a little while. Oh, right. There is one thing that I need to mention, and that is that when you're using a speed such as 26 or fast in any way, you need to make sure that you go over the surface quicker because you can burn the aluminum, I'm told. I haven't done that yet. Maybe I have. I don't know. The worst part about polishing the Airstream is that when you start to do this, you will start to see all the scratches that your Airstream has. So here we are back on the wide shot. You can see that the spot is kind of shiny. All that black stuff around it is just leftover Nuvite. Keep in mind, this is just the compounding polish stage. There's several more stages where you can use different grades of Nuvite and a Cyclo dual head polisher that will get rid of all the scratches that the compounding polish will leave. But that's just that's the gist of how you shine up uh, an Airstream. I've seen so many videos online, but there's not really any that are close up or in HD. So now you have an HD version. Here comes the close up of what it could look like. So that's the polished part. You know, obviously has a lot more to do, but the general idea. And there's the final product. Thanks.